Just four days ago, this secluded town in the middle of nowhere looked like this. And because this town is located in the middle of the jungle in Guatemala, an area that experiences extreme tropical storms in the summer, many of these small houses cannot withstand these brutal conditions. Forcing the residents to constantly rebuild their homes in order to protect their families. However, Guatemala City, a four hour car ride away, is in stark contrast to this with its upmarket infrastructure and work opportunities. A gap we really want to bridge. Once we found out about this community in Guatemala, we contacted Techo, an organization we worked with two years ago by rebuilding 10 houses in an impoverished community in Costa Rica to see how we could help save this remote town from being destroyed. And one week later, Darren arrived just outside Guatemala City. And despite its beautiful landscapes and rich culture, he soon experienced firsthand just how difficult it was to reach the small village of Chisiguan, as he had to charter a small plane to a nearby town and then still walk for miles through the thick jungle terrain. <laughs> a daily practice for the locals just to generate minimal income. Upon his arrival, Darren met with Alberto, a father of eight children who provides for them along with his wife, Maria, by traveling for hours every day to reach the nearest city to sell fabrics where he only makes $2 per day, meaning that each one of his family has to live on roughly $1 per week. On top of this, the entire family of 10 have to share a singular bedroom. The existing houses that these people are living in are very rudimentary. The floors are made out of dirt, there's no electricity. They have to build fires inside of the houses to cook and keep warm. And on top of that, there's no way for Alberto and the rest of the community to collect fresh drinking water. Todavía llegamos a buscar aguas en los pozos, porque ahí tenemos un pocito que está ahí, pero no nos abastece por la familia que tenemos como no. It is absolutely heartbreaking to witness just how difficult it is for these people to support their families. We want to come and help this community. We want to make a big difference for them. We want to give them a more comfortable and safe environment to raise their families. And so we have got a big plan for all of the work that we are going to do over the next few days with our partner, Techo. So in just four days, we will be constructing 15 new homes that will have solar panels to provide basic electricity, a sanitation system, concrete flooring, a wood burning stove, and a rain harvesting system with storage and filtration. In Techo, there are almost one and a half million volunteers who have passed through the organization. These kinds of activities can change their lives by allowing them to connect with their traditional roots and support these small communities. They help by bridging the gap between those less fortunate than themselves. Early the next morning, with only four days to pull off the enormous feat, over 50 volunteers from Tesho had arrived in the village to start the construction. And with the lack of roads in this village, Darren and the volunteers had to carry all of the building equipment to the top of the hill, where the new homes are being built so the next 48 hours are going to be extremely tough. Two days down, they were able to finish the structures of the houses. However, with only 48 hours remaining, they still had to install all of the irrigation pipes and plumbing for the water collection system. They'll be able to accumulate a lot of water over here so that they've got adequate water available when it doesn't rain. This is a huge upgrade for them. I've never doubted Darren's abilities before, but this one was touch and go. I can't believe it. But they finished just in time before the sun rose to surprise Alberto and all the other families with their new homes. And the children couldn't contain their excitement. Let's cut the ribbon. You could immediately see how excited this community was. The expressions on their faces, the excitement in their voices, and it was a beautiful experience. The gratitude that they were giving us back felt to me like more than we were giving them. They now will have more opportunities to make significantly more money, as they would have to spend less time maintaining their houses every storm. The new roads Techo built will make it easier to travel to and from neighboring communities. They have electricity making it easier for the children to study at night. The new stoves make it easier to cook healthy food, and this will allow the community to expand and one day become a 
fully functional town with similar opportunities to those that live closer to the city. So Alberto and his family will never have to hike those treacherous paths again. Estamos felices con todo. Mi esposa, mis, mis patojos grandes ya están felices. Me sentí muy contento. And beyond this, we have another big surprise for the community. But before I show you this, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Dragon City. Beyond sponsoring this incredible project, Dragon City is hosting a Philanthropy Week challenge from January 21st to 28th in game. Players can earn points for Techo by breeding an electric parent and a flame parent dragon. And for every 50,000 points earned globally, Dragon City will donate $100 to Techo.us to help build shelters in Latin America with a total donation goal of $20,000. Also, there's a custom Mr. Beast Runner Island starting on January 24th where you can obtain all of the Mr. Beast dragons through in-game offers. But if you don't like my dragons, there's obviously thousands of more you can choose from. So don't worry, I won't get offended as long as you subscribe. Download Dragon City by clicking the link in the description or scanning this QR code right here here to get a special starter pack with 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, 10 gems, and join the Beast Philanthropy Week as the Dragon Master. On top of the 15 houses we've built, we are also building a community center, which will serve as additional classrooms for the school, which currently only has two classrooms. The woman will also use it for training and workshops to learn new skills and to try and find other ways to get a job. <laughs> The people in this village have opened up their homes, they've opened up their hearts, and they've opened up their communities to us, and we have felt that in this community. Your support on these videos mean the world to me. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, your eyeballs watching these videos help us help people, but your finger can as well by hitting that subscribe button. So tap it right now and then let us know down below and get mad at anyone down below that doesn't subscribe. Get mad in a nice way because we support positivity, but mad in enough of a way where they subscribe. Bye.